I'm going to show you how to quickly get videos right into your Google Drive and get them into the hands of your students using the sharing settings that are built in. So first thing I need to do is get into Google Drive. I'm going to go to my Google Drive here. I've already created a folder, just demo this for you, called it My Movies. And you can see that, that right now there's nothing in there. If I'm using Google Chrome, I can just drag and drop files right into my Google Drive here on my browser. But for now, I'm going to show you a different route to go by clicking on New. And I'm going to do a file upload. I'm going to just grab one of my videos. And you'll see it start to upload here in the corner. Now, with the magic of editing, I'm going to fast forward to when that is done. Okay, so it's finished uploading. Now the second thing I need to do, now that I've got it on the internet or on the cloud, is I need to get it to be shareable to my students. So I'm going to click on it and then choose the sharing settings. I can also right click to get here. Now my, I can add specific people who I want to see this. So if I knew their names or email addresses, I could just do that. I could use a Google group um, to share just to a certain class that I have um, and use it that way. But for what I'm going to do here, I, I want my video to be um, available through anyone that has the link. So what I'll do is I'm going to click on um, change link to Kent Intermediate Dis School District here. Now this is for me at my um, Kent ISD account and I can change things up. So by default Kent ISD has it set up that anyone within Kent ISD if I gave them the link they could go out and view this video. Okay. I have other options here though if I click on it. The first one is restricted, which means and nobody can see this unless I put their names in that top bar that I just showed you. So only specific people can see. Um, and I already talked about this one, but the anyone with the link means that if I give someone this link right here, they'll be able to get in and watch it. It's kind of like an unlisted phone number. I also have the option here to make them an editor or a commenter. For now, I just want them to go in and view my video, so I'm going to leave it as viewer. Now, I'm going to copy the link and hit done. And now I can go off into Google Classroom or um, into an email and just share that link, maybe into my LMS, um, share that link to my students and they'll be able to go in and see that video. And let me show you really quickly how that's done on um, an iPhone. I have an iPhone. It's very similar on an Android. I'm going to start by going to the Google Drive icon and into that Movies folder that I created. And in the bottom right corner, I see this little plus button, just like I saw on the PC. When I click on that, I get the option to upload and choose that and choose photos and videos. So now that I'm here, I see that I've got a videos tab towards the bottom. I'll use that. Okay. And I'll choose this video here of my daughter's birthday. So now I've chosen it. It's going to start uploading and it will go onto the web. And soon I will see it on my computer screen as well. One of the things you're going to want to know is that even though something has uploaded, it takes a few more minutes to process the video. So your students won't be able to view it right away. Um, you can share them the link, but they might get a, a message that says something like, this video is still processing, check back later. Um, so you sometimes have to give a little bit of lead time to make that work. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you another time.